welcome to or back to my channel. Today we are doing, so, oh I'm Ellen if you're new here, that's the last line of my intro. Um, I am doing something that I've actually weirdly considering I'm a second hand thrifting shopping channel, I have never done a car boot sale vlog and today we are changing that. We are going to Battersea Boot, it is a car boot sale held every Sunday in Battersea as the name suggests. Um, I forget what the school is called, but I'll leave the link to Battersea Boot down below, obviously. And it is at 1pm every Sunday. I think it's one or two pounds to get in, but we'll see when we get there. We're going to arrive for entry at 1.30pm. It's 1.30 that um, it opens. And I'd say Battersea Boot is sort of like a little bit of a hidden gem in comparison to like the big car boot sales like Peckham Car Boot and that sort of thing and you can find such amazing pieces but the prices are so much closer to what you would kind of expect of an out of London car boot sale whereas I think Peckham can be quite expensive for car boot sales but because of the clientele they have a lot of like dealers they have a lot of people who go knowing that you can buy kind of more hipstery high-end pieces and um, the prices are just a little bit higher and Batsy Boot hasn't really been hit with that too badly yet you have a couple of like people who are there to obviously sell pieces for a higher price and like um but then you do have a lot of people who are genuinely just vlogging stuff from their um they want to get rid of from their homes so they sell them for like the one two pound mark I'm gonna go take out 30 pounds and that's gonna be my budget for today so I always do go a bit mad at this car boot sale so hopefully I find some gems and I'm looking for predominantly like summer pieces because I want to kind of um, add some bits to my summer wardrobe. I went through all my summer stuff that's under my bed last night and there's some bits I still obviously love in there um, but there is definitely a few little things I need. Kind of more like just general holiday wear so like beach cover-ups, um, stuff you can like run errands and laze around around wearing on holidays like easy simple pretty dresses that sort of thing is kind of what I'm on the hunt for but you know what we'll just see what gets thrown my way opening myself up to the universe and let's go hi guys so I've just arrived at Baxter Park station um I think I've got about 20 minutes until Laura shows up I'm not sure that's my sister by the way I'm not sure where my mum is so just gonna hang around and wait um I might pop in to say and get a little snack possibly but then it's about a 15 minute walk from here and it's in Harris Academy I just looked it up so you could turn up well one or no 12 30 and you could pay three pounds or turn up after 1 30 and pay one pound so that's the rules there so I'm assuming the other one will as well. Yeah, mine's sold really quick, so... It's sold with under 24 hours? Yeah. yeah. So I've already picked up one thing. Ooh, that looked cute, though. Yeah. Um, but I'll show you. Do the whole one I get home. Hurry up! Laura? All the... Laura? All the clothes are two pounds on this rail. Two? Yeah. Two pounds. Yeah. 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 Gorgeous, the mango one. No, this is from French. Oh, nice. French Connection jumper. How much was that? Three pounds. Three pounds, beautiful. Oh, and that's the mango jumper. This is mango, yeah. Nice. Very nice. A beautiful. Like this gorgeous, like netted. Please have given it so. Yeah, I know. All over the keyboard. Yeah, so I've just got back from the car boot sale and I thought I'd do a little show you and try on of everything I got. Um, the first thing I picked up was for six pounds and it was this amazing silk set. I think it is pure silk, yeah. Yeah, 94% silk. Dry clean this garment only. Oh, it looks like it's got dry cleaning labels on. Um, but I will, yeah, definitely be dry cleaning this, but it's from a brand called Yolk. I've never heard of it before. Um, but she said she was selling it because she did have to, it did rip on the, the corner and she had to do darning on it, but 
I honestly don't mind how that looks in the slightest. And then obviously it's the matching top as well. Mum thinks it's pajamas, but do you know what? I think I'm gonna wear it like out as normal clothes. Um, the buttons are silk as well, so I'm thinking it could be pajamas, but um, let me try this on and see how it looks. And that is this on. So got the trousers and the top and it's so comfy and soft. It's, yeah, gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Such a good find. I actually probably would wear these as pajamas because I think they'd be such comfortable pajamas. So quite tempted to just keep them and have a pair of silk pajamas. I'm not sure yet, but it's quite tempting because they are really comfy and nice. I then got this top, which, sorry, a bit inappropriate, but I was thinking I could wear thrown over a bikini in summer, which I don't think I can. I paid three quid for this. It's so, so lovely. It's definitely too small for me to wear it as an actual top, but it's got this, like, gorgeous print on it. Um, I don't recognise the brand name, but, yeah, so beautiful. And then I got this gorgeous, like, midi maxi skirt. Um, let me try and stand on the bed and show you. Gorgeous boobies out gorgeous like midi maxi floaty i think this could be silk as well again three pounds honestly total bargains i'm so excited about what i got um but yeah let me put some normal clothes back on and chat to you hi guys so i've gone and popped my pajamas on but um yeah i had such a fun time at um Bastic car boot i would totally recommend going however it's definitely got more I guess gentrified since I last went to it. To be honest, probably last went to it over a year ago, I guess. And you can definitely see that there are people there who are selling uh, high-end and designer items for um, more than I would say is necessary at a car boot sale. You kind of go to a car boot sale thinking people are like selling things off for like really really affordable good prices but it was like there were lots of like stalls where people would like go over and like people were like who were not like kind of knowledgeable designer brands were like asking how much things were and they'd be like oh it's like you know acne studios so it's like 60 quid whereas people are going thinking things are going to be like three four pounds and to be like met with that is like an interesting dynamic because you've still got all the people who are going there to find like the two pound three pound clothes to buy and then they're being met with stalls that are charging kind of like extortionate amounts for items or clothing that are probably worth it but like in my eyes I'm like take those onto like vintage or vestiaire like I still find the concept of going to a car boot sale and taking all your sort of high-end items to that to sell them to like the general kind of public of people who go to car boot sales, a very peculiar concept in all honesty. Um, so you can definitely see the sort of gentrification of the car boot sale heavily going on. And I think it would probably be even more if you went over to Peckham, like place like Peckham car boot, which is obviously like a very kind of working class area, obviously back to seas um, a little bit. Not all of it though, like it's not, totally but like Peckham is like truly through and through its core like a working class area and it's been so unbelievably gentrified like even as recently as like it's still in the process of happening like it's like in the past few years it's just like watching this place change and like push further and further away from like what it once was and obviously there's like pros and cons to that but like um, I come from it as a place that like I'm a Londoner like I've grown up in London I was like born in London I've lived in my whole life and it's so strange watching it change like I live in um, like Putney which has always been like a I guess like wealthier area so it's just not as noticeable here but I grew up in Tooting which was like trashy when I was growing up and like now it's a whole other story and anyway I could ramble on about the gentrification of London for ever but it is just like wild and I think just it's so apparent and so clear to see when you go to things like car boot sales and obviously it is becoming the charity shops are obviously becoming more gentrified in themselves anyway and obviously like 
I'm so thankful that more and more people are shopping second hand, but it is making them more and more obviously out of touch, I guess, for and like out of like not as like accessible, I guess, as well. Um, but there obviously are still places where the drag shops are more accessible, but you come to areas like here, like um, Islington as well, Hampstead, like those sort of more affluent areas where the charity shops are just going up and up in price. Um, but obviously the charity shops have to keep themselves running and open as well, and at the end of the day they are raising money for charity, so... God, I'm rambling. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, please, please remember to hit that subscribe button. I upload videos every Sunday and bonus videos possibly every Wednesday um, and I will catch up with you in my next one. Bye!